So in this video, I want to show how we can uh, incorporate some of the, the common regularization techniques into Keras. So I'll, I start with this notebook, which is I, I made in a previous video. Uh, and the first thing I want to talk about is, is early stopping. And so and for early stopping, I also need some validation uh, data. So you can see here, I just worked on, the, on, on training data or, or one set of data. Uh, but as you can see here, if we see what's in the data, uh, in the sample data folder, right, there's also, there's also a test set, which we'll use for the validation set. Uh, so actually the first thing I want to do here is, which I forgot in the last video, is to divide uh, by 255. And uh, I now want to, let's see, I want this to be my training set. So I have to have train here. I guess I should uh, run this. You'll get a warning here, don't worry about it. Um, so that is my training set. And now I'm going to make my validation set. So I'm going to call this val. Uh, and that comes from this file here, test. So that's my x val. And that comes from val. That comes from the val data frame. And this is y val. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and do two things. Um, so one, uh, I'm going to call this model, I'm going to pass it into a variable because I'll have to use that later. And then here, I'm going to also give it the validation data. And so that's my x val and my y val. Okay, that should be it. Uh, let's try to run it. You get some warnings again, don't worry about that. And now it's starting to train. Okay, so, so my, my uh, model, which I call train, right, now has uh, some, has a list of uh, different things that it saved for each epoch. And so you can see what those are here by asking for the keys. That should be keys, right? So you can see you have the validation loss, the validation accuracy, the loss, that's for the training, and the accuracy for the training. Okay, uh, so accuracy, for example, right? That then comes from my train history. Uh, like so, and then, so that's my training accuracy, whoops, and my validation accuracy then comes from validation, uh, and so that is called valac accuracy. Uh, so that, that this will be my y values, and then for my x values, I need the epochs, uh, and so that's just uh, I can get that from range, uh, and uh, that'll be the length of the vector, like so. And now I can plot it. So epochs is my x. Uh, train accuracy is my y. And I might as well label it right away because I'll have two lines on the plot. So that will be the training. And 
this will be the validation. And I need to make sure the legend is plotted and that, let's see, that should do it. Uh, what did I spell wrong? Oh, I did length twice, that was stupid. Uh, I did, I guess I have an imported matplotlib. No, I have not. So, import uh, mats plotlib pyplot as plt. Okay, let's go back here and see if that doesn't do it. Yes, okay. So here you can see, so uh, notice now that we're plotting the accuracy, right? So, so uh, this should go up instead of down, right? So higher numbers are better, right? And so uh, you can now monitor the validation uh, and decide how many epochs is, is best. Keras actually also has an automated way of doing that. So um, if you Google early stopping in Keras, uh, it'll show you how to do that. Okay, so that's early stopping. Um, the other uh, techniques that I've talked about in, in previous videos uh, is, for example, uh, uh, weight decay. Uh, and so in order to do that, I need to import um, that from Keras, uh, Keras Regu La Risers. Um, and it's the L2 uh, weight decay uh, that we talked about before. Uh, then I can go down here, uh, type kernel regularizers uh, equal to L2. And then in parentheses, I can define the uh, weight decay constant. Uh, so let's set it to something uh, small. And uh, let's just make sure that that works. I uh, forgot a comma here. And what else did I forget? That should not be an S. Okay, so now it's uh, happily training again. So now you can see in this particular case, the accuracy did not get better, uh, but at least this is, this is how you could uh, test whether or not um, that is the case. So uh, let's turn that off, set it to none, and uh, so let's do uh, dropout. So dropout is actually very simple. You, you just simply add a dropout here after the the layer that you want to uh, use dropout on and um, you give it a dropout rate. And so in order for that to work, of course, you have to go up and uh, import it. So we can grab that here and dropout, import that, import that. And I need a comma. Okay, so that's running. I'll actually just stop it uh, just so I can show you uh, the final thing. So let's say we don't want any dropout, uh, but we want batch normalization instead. All right, so that's done the same way. Uh, like that. And of course, that also has to be imported. So from, uh, so this is, I can copy this. This actually comes from uh, a sub library. Okay, and let's just make sure uh, that works. 
new. I forgot the comma again. Yes, and so that works fine. Okay, so this is how you um, you implement some of the more popular uh, regularization techniques in Keras.